this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a fully working WordPress website with PHP MyAdmin and MariaDB locally running on Docker. First of all, I'm going to be using the Docker desktop application, which makes it a lot easier to manage your containers. So if you haven't got it already, go to docker.com products docker-desktop is absolutely free. Download it from here and install it on your machine. Once you have it installed and running, basically let's open it super quickly. I think I've got it running already. Here is mine. And as you can see at the moment, I have um, two containers. Let's create our first WordPress website super quickly. So I'm going to minimize this, go to my desktop. And in order to create our first website, let's uh, give it a folder name. So I'm going to create a new folder and let's call it WordPress-site. So this name is going to be used for the desktop container. Let's open the folder and inside here we need to create two files and I'm going to give you the assets so you don't have to waste too much time. So the first file that we need to create is going to be a .env file. So I'm going to create a new text document and do .env like so. Press yes. And the second file that we need to create is the doc and compose file. So right click, new text document here and we do docker dash compose dot yaml like so and press enter. Let's open those two in Visual Studio Code just so we have them in a code editor. So left shift, right click, open in terminal and I'm just going to do code which is going to open them. You can open them in any editor that you wish. So let's start with the .env first of all. I will provide all of this information for you so you don't have to type it manually. It will be in the description below but essentially what we need to do is to configure our database or WordPress configuration port and or PHP Miami port. So for the database configuration we're going to have a database root password of password to make it easy. The actual database name is going to be called WordPress. The database user is root to make it easy and the database password is password. For the WordPress port, we're going to set it to 8080 and for the uh, PHP admin, the port is going to be 8081, which I'm going to show you how it works in a second. Make sure you save this and now let's jump to docker-compose.yaml and again, I'm going to give you this file and I actually generated this uh, file using cloud or cloudy. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm going to paste it and walk you through this super quickly. So first of all, we basically have a couple of services. As I said, we're going to have a MariaDB and this is going to be the latest. The container name is going to be con called uh, WordPress DB. You, you can always change these. And then the environment variables come from the .env file here. They're basically the password and the new username for the database. If we scroll down a little bit more, you have your WordPress here. Again, you can change the version from here if you wish to have a specific one. But uh, essentially here, we're getting the latest WordPress website and we're calling the container WordPress site, which is absolutely fine. And again, we're using the environment variables, um, nothing complicated here. And the last thing here that we need to look at is the PHP MyAdmin. This is uh, basically how you can manage your database. And again, we are using the latest image and our container name is called WordPress underscore PHP MyAdmin. Um, what else do I need to show you? I think that's more or less it. Again, we're using the EMV from here and let's have a look at how this works. So make sure that you save both files like so. I'm going to close them. Let's go back to the folder here or the PowerShell where we have the WordPress site. And now we need to run the Docker Compose YAML file by doing docker dash compose up dash D, press enter, and this should take a couple of seconds. I believe that all these containers were downloaded previously for me, and that's why it was mega quick. But essentially, if you are doing this for the first time, it might take like uh, a few seconds to download, depending on your internet connection. Send this, let's go back to our Docker desktop. And now you should be able to see your newly created website here, which is WordPress site. This is exactly the same uh, as our WordPress site folder here. And if we extend this, you'll see that we have our WordPress database, we have the WordPress PHP My Admin, and we have the actual WordPress website. They are all running as you can see, and you can stop them from here and start them if you wish. But uh, essentially now we should be able to visit our website on this port. So if I go to the browser, localhost of 8080, press enter, 
you should be able to see that we have a fully working WordPress website. And also, if I copy this, and if I go to port of 8081 here, you'll be able to see that we have fully working PHP my admin. So the username for mine will be root, and the password for mine will be password. Okay, now that we're inside, this is the WordPress database that we've created. Of course, it doesn't have anything just yet because we haven't installed WordPress, but you can do this super quickly if you wish. Root password is going to be password, confirm, email. I'm going to put mine, install WordPress, login. I'm going to do root, password, login. And now, as you can see, we have a fully working WordPress website. And if I go to the database here, and if I was to refresh, you will see that we have all of our tables. And that's more or less it. And just like that, you can keep this Docker Compose file and this .env file, create a new website somewhere, and basically do the Docker Compose up dash D to start all services and create a new one if you wish to. And that's it. Also, the last thing that I wanted to mention is that if you are migrating a website to uh, locally, make sure that you obviously run your uh, what is it? The permalinks here. Make sure that you update your permalinks from here so they're working on your local machine as well. And that should be it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. And that's it.